Hey YouTube, it's Philip Twenty. Uh, I was going to put a video up. I am mounting a piece of wood on the wall so I can put a breaker box on the wall beside my main breaker box. The breaker box I'm putting on the wall is going to serve as a transfer switch for emergency backup power. For instance, a generator, maybe some solar if you had it. But that's going to be uh, for your decision. But what this purpose is for is setting up a backup generator power source. So I'm going to show you, I'm putting this onto the wall. I've pre-drilled four holes. I've got toggle bolt connectors right here. These are toggle bolts. These are actually really, really strong toggle bolts. Uh, they just, uh, rotate and then when they're inside the wall you can rotate them with your thumb so I'll show you how this works you take it and just insert it like so and just be nice and gentle and then once it's through the wall you make both of those leads nice and tight and then it'll hold it and then you take the plastic tab that's in the center and you just press it all the way forward and then there is your toggle bolt. So after you've done that, you're going to gently cut off these connectors. And you're going to take your bolt with a washer. And you're going to gently slide it through here. Now we got two more of these. I'm gonna go right through this real quick. And you know, you take Rotate it like so. Stick it in there, and then you straighten it. And then you take your plastic tab and pull it all the way against the wall. There you go. And then one more. Okay, I got it uh, bolted to the wall, and now I'm going to try to line up our transfer switch box, which will probably mount just like this. So, it'll do pretty good. So, I marked all the holes while I was holding the transfer switch up. That way I can go ahead and uh, screw it to the wall. Now, we've got transfer switch right here so for the best case scenario I wanted to bring this bus bar for the negative ground neutral leg there's actually no negative in here this is a neutral leg and ground leg so 
now I've got all of my wires. I can bring it straight over here and tie it back in right here. And then I'll bring an additional power. I'll remove a couple of these breakers here and run my additional power in. It'll probably be like a 100 amp breaker. And I'll probably tie it in right there. And then we're going to put in another 100 amp breaker here for our backup power. Our backup power is going to tie in directly in the bottom. If I can find a connector, that will be easy to install. Or I might just mount a receptacle with a 230 volt connector right here against this wall. So that may be the best choice for what my application is. So I gotta get more breakers. I gotta get another breaker here. And I've got to get a connector between this piece and this piece. And I wanted to choose to do it at the top. That way I've got all of my wires I can bring straight in right here and tie them all in on this side right here. That way I got a connection to my split phase inverter. Now, not in, all inverters will be able to do this. For safety reasons, I'm going to screw this completely down to the wall. That way it doesn't fall down and hurt nobody. Once this is done, all I've got to do is get a connector. So, so I'm going to have 16 breakers in here. I'm going to run every single 110 volt receptacle in this house except one that will be in the garage for emergency recharge. i got to be able to recharge the battery and you're not going to find a 220 volt rechargeable charger for in America. It's just the way it is. Everything runs off of 110 volt. 